When someone coughs, a droplet of saliva, a respiratory virus, and a whole lot of trouble fly through the air and land right in your arm. That's gross. But it's also how COVID-19 spreads. So here's how viruses spread through the air, on surfaces and through people. And don't forget to stay to the end to learn how you can protect yourself from getting sick. First off, let's talk about droplets. When an infected person coughs or sneezes, they release a cloud of liquid droplets from their mouth and nose. These droplets are made of water, but they also have stuff like proteins and fats in them that help form a cloud around the droplets. But wait, there's more. When the droplets evaporate, what's left behind is a bunch of tiny particles called aerosols. Aerosols are so small that they can stay in the air for hours and travel much further than droplets. This is why you might be able to smell delicious food cooking even if you're not in the same room as the oven. And it's also how the coronavirus can spread through the air like a fine mist. The virus doesn't just float around waiting for someone to breathe it in. It needs a little help getting into your body. That's where these little nooks and crannies come in. The virus can land in your nostrils, mouth or throat and find a home in the cells that line those areas. Once it's in, virus hijacks the cell's machinery to make copies of itself. And when it does, it makes the cell's defenses weaker, which allows more virus particles to get in, and the cycle continues. And if that wasn't gross enough, let's talk about surfaces. When someone who has the virus touches a surface, like a doorknob or a countertop, they leave behind some of the virus particles on their hands. Then when you touch that same surface, those virus particles can get on your skin and eventually make their way into your body through your pores. Once inside your body, they can make their way to your lymph nodes where they infect some special white blood cells called Macrophages. Macrophages normally fight off infections, but the virus is sneaky and can stay hidden in them. Then when the virus particles start multiplying, the infected macrophages travel to your respiratory system, where they infect more cells and the whole cycle starts again. So how can you protect yourself from getting sick? First off, get vaccinated. Vaccines help your body recognize the virus and fight it off before it can make you sick. Second, wear a mask. A mask can help filter out virus particles in the air and prevent them from getting in your body. Third, wash your hands regularly with soap and water for at least 20 seconds. That helps remove any virus particles that might be on your hands. And finally, avoid touching your face, especially your eyes, nose and mouth. That can help prevent virus particles from getting into your body through your skin. Now you know how to stay safe, and that's something worth coughing up. All the more reason to support us because we make science understandable and we love what we do.